not. The, the, the Old Boys Association actually started in 1938, and I assure you I wasn't at thought right. of. <laughs> it, it continued right through until 1967, but part way through, um, you know, from 1938, uh, there was a breakaway group uh, who actually went out and became Bangor Young Men. Mm. Uh, and I think it was in around the early 40s. First Bangers, I say, uh, initially started in 38, and they were uh, they, they played sort of friendly matches to begin with, mm -hmm. and then the Churches League. First Banger was connected with First Presbyterian and in Bangor? In, in, in Bangor Main Street. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And they continued until 1965, and then they, they actually uh, stopped because they couldn't get a team together. And for two years there was no team, and then and it was myself, Jack Biddy, Mervyn Henry, and Jack Malloy. Mm -hmm. We were all we all were playing for the Bangor Parish at that stage, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a a difference of opinion as to how uh, things should progress, and it really arose out of a a rather unfortunate situation, which happens. In, in clubs from time to time, but the seconds were due to play a semi-final of a cup competition and the first team in Bangor Parish were sitting at the table with only a couple of matches left and it wouldn't have mattered whether they'd lost and drawn them or won them, it wasn't going to make a difference to their position and uh, the, the second team needed players uh, to play in the, in the final and they wouldn't give them any. Well they needed to think about two or three players you know, to make up a reasonable team, because you could load your team in those days, you know, with first team, but the second team had wanted to stay, basically, the second team had got that far, and uh, we we were actually short of players, and we needed two or three, and they wouldn't mm -hmm. let us have them on that particular Saturday, and we went away and we lost the match, and there was a lot of sort of ill feeling, mm -hmm. and that was towards the end of that particular season, 66, 67, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the boys, uh, we were so aggrieved about it, and we said, right, well that's it, you know, we're going to form our own team, and that's when we hunted around to see what we could get, and we knew, I, I knew obviously first Spanger, um, you know, had a team a couple of years before, and didn't, you know, there, were, there was a gap there, right. we decided that we made an approach to the Old Boys Association. The only way you could get selected for the team in those days, you had to attend band class. The only way you could get your form, your form had to be countersigned when you're in the church. Yeah, so yeah. So it was 77, 78 season. So we were 11 years with the Churches League, and then the pressures of trying to get forms signed and everything else, we decided like this isn't going to work. Uh, then the problem arose when we when we told them what we were going to do, we were going to move to another league, to the amateur league. There, there, there wasn't much of a problem at that stage, but the the issue started to arise that in order to exist, um, we had to get sponsorship. The first year we're in the amateur league, uh, we had a, a, an extremely um, good team at that particular time, because I just come back from England in '77, and I took over. The management of the team in 78, 79. You obviously are now looking to another season in the Premier League. Yes, we only got really one season in the Amateur League back in whatever that year that was, 2002. Was that 2002 you were Premier? The year uh, leading, the year leading up to that, we only conceded, we only conceded 15 goals in one A that year. We, we went up in 2002 years. and 2003, Ankelon won the league Ankelon that year. We're looking forward to the season, if, if for no other reason than to um, uh, have a bit of intense rivalry from next door. Oh yeah. <laughs>